Yeah, for sure. I feel like, you know, all those guys were coming off the ball, uh, every single play, disrupting the line of scrimmage, uh, knocking the line back and, you know, letting me, Tyrell, uh, J. Poe, letting us kind of play play free on the second level. So, um, you know, a lot of a lot of what we're able to do stems from them. And, you know, like Coach McDermott always says, they're the they're the engine, they're the gas uh, to the defense and, you know, really to the team. Um, so having those guys up in front um, really helps out a lot, especially when they're playing playing like that. Terrell, what do you think? You guys have defensively, if you look at the entire game, held up pretty well. Those last drives, the got to have it ones, it hasn't always been successful. Why do you think you've been able to be so strong for so much of the game, but, but it's been that challenging part recently to finish? Yeah, I think it comes back to just execution. Um, you know, especially on, on my part, starting off, uh, just doing what we're supposed to do. You know, we're in position to make plays. We've got to make the play. Um, and in critical moments, critical situations, like the end of the game, last last drives, uh, where you got to have it, you know, that's the that's the focus. And, you know, that's something that we've we've emphasized and, uh, you know, something that even now we're, we're still working on. Um, so I think everybody has that in their mind and everybody knows, obviously, how important those situations are. Uh, so uh, we, we're, we're going to get it fixed. Ten games into the season, where do you feel this year you've grown the most? I would just say, um, you know, just my, my confidence in myself and um, just the communication aspect of everything uh, that comes with being the middle linebacker and uh, just the, the energy, the effort, the, the – um, just the, the joy and the fun that I'm having out there. Uh, I feel like, you know, as a rookie, I was I was everywhere. You know, head was spinning, uh, just trying to trying to make it through. And and now, having some time to process and you know go through a whole off season of learning and growing, uh, building into to this year. It's been it's been fun. Um, I feel like I still have so much so much to do, so much so much uh, I can grow at. Uh, so I'm I'm excited. I would say just seeing other guys make plays, um, you know, going in uh, to film every week and, and talking about situations in the game, uh, certain formations, certain calls, that what we're expecting, and then, uh, you know, seeing that play out on Sunday and somebody making a play and uh, seeing the time and the effort put into it to make a play. Uh, I feel like that's the, that's the most, you know, fun that I have all week. Um, and so just celebrating with my teammates. Um, and making plays, I mean, that's the that's the name of the game. How much of that, you know, getting joy from seeing other guys make plays, how much of that is because of your position? Like, you know, you're such a key part of that. Or how much is that just you, how you view the game? Yeah, I feel like it's a it's a big part of the position. You know, you want to put, put guys in the best possible position to make the play. Um, and then, you know, just, just as a football player, as a teammate, you know, you want to see everybody around you succeed. Uh, so when so when guys are having success around me, you know it makes me it makes me want to go out there and have success myself, um, as well as just you know having having that internal joy for them uh, and seeing you know all the work that they put in throughout the week and seeing it pay off on Sunday. Yeah, I think I think what it comes down to is just a communication issue um, all across the board. You know, I feel like we have. A bunch of guys that have have taken accountability for that, including myself, um, and you know I think I think it comes down to, to communication. You know, trying to change personnel and get the right people on the field uh, to try to win the game. Um, you know, didn't didn't go our way, and we'll learn from it and you know get get better from that. Yeah. What are, what are you just trying to do to just keep your head above water in that? Yeah, so, yeah, a situation like that, you know, they're going what we would call Toro. Um, clock's running. They're trying to get the kickoff, the snap off in time. Um, so third down happens. We want to get out of our defensive personnel group, get our block group on. Um, and it's a, lot of, it's a lot of change. A lot of people running off, a lot of people running on. Like I said, with the clock running, um, so it's a it's a hectic situation for sure. Um, but like I said, we've we've uh, we've emphasized that now, and we've we've practiced it, and um, you know we'll be we'll be prepared for the next time. What do you see from the Jets' running game and Brees' 
Yeah, Brees is a great running back. Um, I played against him a number of times in college, as well as you know earlier on in the year. Um, he's a he's a dynamic player. Uh, you know, strong, uh, shifty, really catch the ball well out of the backfield, make guys miss. Um, so he's a he's a dynamic player. Then they got a good offensive line as well. Um, you know, those guys can move people off the ball, get in position. Um, so. You know, I think it'll come down to our technique and fundamentals and our swarm mentality, getting everybody to the ball um, and doing our best to, to contain him. He's so fast. I mean, probably, I mean, you can't think too much about angles, right? You just see it and go. Yeah, I think, I think it, comes, it comes down to, you know, being in the, in the right spot and then, you know, in the run game, all gaps being accounted for. And then... At the end of the day, having 11 guys fly to the football. So, you know, if something does get out, it's not getting out for anything crazy. You know, we're getting it down and playing the next play. That first game, you played him. That was his first game off an ACL tear. And then, yep. You know, obviously, you know, past that. Have you seen him different things in his game that he's been able to do either laterally or the quickness that you didn't see week one? I think he was, I think he was there week one. Um, you know, you, you see the burst, you see the quickness, the acceleration, the change of direction. Um, you know, obviously he had he had a, a good game against us uh, week one. So um, he's continued to have have good games, obviously throughout the year. So we'll we'll be ready for that. Sean mentioned the unique fact that Matt Milano has been go back to the facility yep. for last year. Mike, after his injury, you know, when he was out there coaching, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of days. What what's it been like to have Matt back in the building, and, and what kind of impact has he had on you guys from a distance? Yeah, it's been great having Matt back. Um, you know, I talk to him pretty much every single day uh, before practice, after practice, uh, before meetings, just going in there, seeing how he's doing. Um, you know, he's he's giving us tips, uh, giving me little things to work on, uh, things that he sees, you know, during the game that I can improve on. Uh, so he's been, you know, everything that you would expect, um, a leader, um, just the a great, a great guy at the end of the day. And, um, you know, he's working hard to, to be back as well, but you know, just his his input and his voice is super powerful and super strong with everything that he's done. Um, so him being able to give back to us and you know still help us in our progression throughout the year has been it's been good. Yeah, we don't, you know, we don't really view it like that. I think our whole mindset and our whole goal is do whatever we have to do to get the ball back to Josh Allen. Um, we know what type of player he is, uh, what type of quarterback he is. And, you know, at the end of the day, we haven't been doing a good enough job taking the ball away, uh, giving them good field position to start with and uh, setting them up to score. So I think that's what it that's what it comes down to. And that's what we're talking about in our rooms, in our meeting rooms, and uh, as a unit is doing everything in our power to, to take the ball away, uh, flip the field, give them field position, and set them up to score. Because when we do that, you know, I don't know what the numbers are, but I'm sure it's, it's, it's pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.